So this is Illustrator and LaserCoin episode one. And in this episode, I'm gonna briefly take you through setting up a document ready for laser cutting and the tools that are very specific within Illustrator that you can use to create your laser cutting document. Now I'm using a Mac and I'm using Illustrator CC 2015, but everything I say should be applicable on Windows or on another version of Illustrator. Now when you load up Illustrator, you want to go to File and to New to create a new document. And we're presented with this dialog box. And now in this dialog box, we can change the profile and we're going to change that to Print. And that's going to change our units to millimeters. And it's going to allow us to put in the width and the height of our document. Now I work on a 600 by 400 mil document because that's the size of my laser bed. You can actually set it to whatever size you like, but I would suggest setting it to the size of your laser bed to give a bit of scale to your design. Now there's a lot of other options, but we can leave those and just click OK. Now that we've clicked OK, we're presented with the main interface of Illustrator. And we've got a toolbar up at the top and we've got our tools on the left hand side here. Now I'm going to take you through the specific tools that are useful for laser cutting. And as we change between the tools, you'll notice this toolbar at the top changes accordingly. If you don't have this toolbar here or this toolbar at the top, just go up to window and down to tools and you can toggle it on and off just there. So the first tool we're going to talk about is the main selection tool and that's this black arrow and just like on any other program that's used for selecting it's used for clicking and it's used for manipulating shapes and objects let me quickly draw a square now you can manipulate this square by clicking on it and dragging it around just like that we also have the options to resize the square. By clicking on these little handles on the corners or on the paths. The next tool is this Y arrow. And this is used for selecting parts of shapes. So I can click just the corners or I can click just the path. And I can do things like delete this corner, which is going to delete the two connecting paths or I can delete this path and it's going to delete the path. Very useful for removing parts of objects. The next tool is the pen tool and you're going to be familiar with the pen tool if you've used Photoshop but essentially you can click and click and click and make some complex shapes. You can also click and click and drag to create curved shapes. The next tool is the text tool. I'm not going to go too much into this, but basically it's like every other text tool you've ever used. When you've got the text tool selected, you'll notice up at the top that this toolbar gives you your usual text manipulation options. So you've got font, point size, and some paragraph controls. Just below the text tool, you've got the shape tool. And here you've got rectangles, squares, circles, and ellipses. Now they're the main shapes you'll be using, but if you click and hold, you can see we've got polygons, stars, or rounded corner rectangles. In older versions of Illustrator, you'll also have a line tool in there. The line tool in CC 2015 is just here, and if you click and hold, it'll bring up this extra menu where you've got a line. Now I've just drawn a line there, but we can't see it. Now that's because our stroke is set to transparent. And if we 
set our stroke to black and then beef it up a little bit you can see the line just there. Now we're going to skip a few tools and go down near the bottom to this tool here which is your artboard tool. Now the artboard tool allows you to create new artboards still within the same document so we just go up to the new artboard tool and we can click and just bring that down and click there and we have a second artboard to work on. Super useful if you want to create prototypes on one artboard and your final designs on another artboard. Down here we've also got a magnifying glass which you can zoom out and zoom in with. Because I'm working on a Mac I've just been pinching on the trackpad to zoom in and out but you've also got this option down here so you can zoom in and zoom out with that. They're the basic tools in Illustrator you're going to be using when creating your laser cutting document. In the next episodes we're going to be going into different tools specifically when and if we use them and I'll be talking a bit more about the different tools in those episodes.